now define the distance from this point to this point it is 30 millimeter now select trim entities command and trim these lines go to feature step and then select extruded cut command and cut it from throughout press ok button again select circular pattern and then select this extrude cut one now click on this box and then select this circular edge and the quantity is 4 press ok button so side cover is ready save this part as side cover now it's time to assemble all the parts together so for that start from assembly first of all import the outer casing then import rest of the parts one by one side cover shaft router and bearing so we need two um, quantity of side covers and bearings so for that press and hold control key from your keyboard and then drag the side cover release the um, uh, control key again press control key and then drag the bearing to make duplicate now uh, start uh, assembling them so first of all we will assemble the bearing with the cover so for that click on this outer face or outer uh, diameter of the bearing and then select mate now click on this cylindrical diameter or face of cover and lock the rotation press ok button now click on this face and then select this face of bearing press ok button similarly for the other side select this outer face or outer diameter of bearing and then this cover lock the rotation press ok button select this face and then this face press ok button now assemble this cover with the outer casing so click on this outer um, face of this outer casing and then this diameter of cover lock the rotation and press ok button select this face and then this face of outer casing press ok button now select this face of shaft and then this face of outer casing do not lock rotation press ok button now assemble this rotor with the uh, shaft so click on this cylindrical face of rotor and then this cylindrical face of shaft and at this time lock the rotation press ok button now select this face of rotor and then this face of shaft again press ok button now I am going to assemble this side cover with the casing so click on this outer face of casing and then this face of side cover and we have to flip the mate alignment so for that click on this button flip mate alignment and then lock the rotation press ok button click on this face and then this face of outer casing press ok button now we have to create a width mate of uh, this whole assembly with the uh, shaft so for that scroll down and then from here select advanced mates and in the advanced mates select width now select both of these faces of 
shaft and then also select both of these faces of side covers so width made is automatically created press ok button again press ok button now try to rotate the rotor so it is rotating now change the appearance select slide cover press ok button now select shaft now select rotor and change its appearance from here if you um, noticed a mistake that we have to um, extend the length of this um, outer casing so our bearing should be here so for that we have to know what is the length from this face to this face go to layout and then select smart dimensions now select a reference dimension and then click on this face and then click on this face this total length is 100 mm press escape button now click on this outer casing and then open it now select this sketch below the uh, revolved one and then edit it make normal to and uh, change this dimension from 60 to 100 mm press this button to save and exit from sketch now go to assembly once again so our um, motor is now perfect to make its exploded view go to this configuration manager and then right click on default then select new exploded view here is the type so select this type and then click on this side cover and drag it now drag the bearing drag shaft and then drag this rotor press ok button so this is how we have to create uh, or design a um, electric motor in solid bikes how did you find this video please write your thoughts in the comments thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe this channel